Oh, this is Jason County again. Ah, I screwed up my knee at work, so I took some biking and I'm getting a real good buzz off. So I said, why the hell? What the hell? Why not make another movie? Uh, first of all, my uh, a little reminder to you all, my friends, who are watching this. Uh, next week on the 10th of uh, March, Sunday night, uh, there's a reminder to make sure you set your clock ahead one hour for uh, daylight savings time. Now, I mean, a spring ahead in the in spring and fall, it's fall back. Now, it might be different from where you live, you know, during your, uh, whatever your time zone you live in, you know. And then, I also go outside the U.S., there's things um, in other countries and stuff. I don't know if you guys, uh, what you guys do for daylight savings time, but if you're doing anything, that's the day to do it, okay? And also, I got this cool calendar. From Marquette Savings Bank, it's got some cool pictures of uh, splendorous place, uh, places in the uh, U.S., like Yosemite National Park, California. Let's see if you can see That's good. And also, you know, got Lake Potawatomi, Marlboro, New Hampshire. This is a cool one right there. That's really nice. I like that one real well. Can you see the different colors and stuff? It's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Got Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, Michigan. This is nice too. Next, we got Lighthouse Rock, Palo Duro Canyon State Park, Texas. Next, we have Canyon Beach, Oregon. It's kind of neat. It's really strange seeing these shape of trees near a beach and stuff like that. So close to it, but that's pretty cool. I've never been to Oregon before. Let's see. We've got Twin Falls, Pickens County, South Carolina. Pretty cool. And one thing, this is one of those ones that have the little uh, pockets in it, but I never really, I, I don't know anyone who really used the pockets like that. Not those. You know, they use it for like different people. Not enough. Cheap paper counting, you know. They got Grand Teton National Park, Wyoming. You know, pretty cool. Ooh, it is a nice one. Taborville Prairie National Area, Missouri. That's nice. You can keep it on there. That's a nice picture right there. Who else we got? Appalachia by Apple. Appalachia, or Appalachia Cola River, Fort Gadsden State Forest, Florida. That's a mouthful, but I got it. Check that out. Pretty nice. Let's see what else we got. Let's see. St. Lawrence River, Wellesley Island State Park, New York. Cool. This is uh, Marin, Maroon, uh, Bells Peak, White River National Forest, Colorado. Cool. Cedar Rock, Oak Creek, Arizona. This is nice. That has a neat variety of colors and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. And that's it. Yeah, there's some other stuff I wanted to address a couple videos I did. Uh, if you see, I have a cool shirt. It's, uh, check this out. It says, 100th Anniversary Cranesville. Right there it says, 1912 to 2012. Now, if you remember, I did uh, demystifying the Cranesville van, van. And a lot of people were saying that, uh, was saying that, you know, it didn't add, the math didn't add up because they just said it when it was established. And then it said the 100 year anniversary of uh, of Trainsville. But they should have said it, it was established in the 1800s. And they said it was only around 100 years, but the math didn't add up. The uh, state uh, land of Trainsville was established in like 1832 or something like that. And then the borough of Trainsville wasn't established until 1912 to 2012. That's what the whole deal was about that. 
I can't remember if I clarified that well enough or not. And then I got one about the last two videos I did. Uh, one of his uh, milk, milk smash prank on a budget. And I don't know if some people didn't get the joke or. Uh, well, that one guy, Crazy Coming Combos, did hit. He just did a milk uh, smash prank where he got thrown out of the store, him and his buddy. And uh, and they have videos about that, like people doing that at Walmart, stuff like that. I won't do that. I mean, I think it, I won't want someone coming to my store and doing something like that, but I had an idea, something clever to do here. And uh, my idea was to do a milk prank on a budget. Like, I was going to take a gallon of milk here and smash it. But I saw how expensive it was, like $2 a half a gallon, which is about right, you know. So I didn't do it. And what I did was I just took it. I, I tried it a couple times. I said, I can't do it. Two bucks is two bucks. So I did I took a little measuring cup and put like a little teeny tiny bit. And then the one I just dropped on it. I bugged out. I took off. And that was the joke. I mean, if it's not funny, it's not funny. But I tried. I thought it was funny. And the other uh, last video is I did some uh, concert footage from the band Napalm Death. And I love Napalm Death. It's an acquired taste, though. So, I mean, there might be some haters out there that won't like it at all. But I, I really like the video because I just can't deal with this Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga stuff. However, I like the Harlem Shake. And I was very happy I was able to do my own Harlem Shake dance to it. You know, and you might hear more about it because some people did a uh, Harlem Shake video on the plane. And the FFA is all mad about that and stuff like that. I, I, I don't see, and I think they charged them, the flight attendants charged everybody five dollars a piece to do that uh, Harlem Shake dance. But I mean, I, I do like the song. It's fun doing the dance. It's not like you're not restricted like that Gundam style. You're not restricted to one thing. You can do anything you want. You just started like silly, very simple, and then the next 15 seconds you spaz out and it's awesome. You be funny, be serious, or anything like that. But it's, it's cool and there's so many different variations it's fun and maybe uh, I might make another one if I can really think of something I think it will really work real well because I'm all doing these all by myself if I get more people involved they would be really it would probably help me out a lot alright well that's that and then make one death to take care of that to take care of uh, yeah the one thing is I, uh, to Bunsen I saw uh, we were talking about flow the usurper Flo the Usurper on a progressive commercial on Flo pretending that she was a queen and stuff like that. She said these are troubling times of the kingdom. I think she's trying to usurp uh, Queen Bunsen's throne. And the weird thing is I saw that commercial like five or six times today and every time I saw it I had a laugh. Flo, but, you know, she's a usurper. You need to watch out for her, man. Uh, and then uh, I got a little more uh, stuff because that one guy crazy coming combos from Ireland and then uh I think there's another person from Ireland that's another subscriber. And by the way, I right now I have 10 subscribers. As of right now, I haven't checked. I might have more, but I had 10 the last time I checked. I'm very happy with that, you know. And then eventually, eventually, some some might have. I'll get more and more and more. I hope, you know. But I got a little bit of uh, Irish history for you. Oh, and, yeah. Well, wait a second. Before I forget, uh, I know uh, the 17th of this month we're going to have. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. I was curious, what are you guys doing St. Patrick's Day in Ireland? But I'm half Irish, so that's why I'm asking. And if you haven't seen it, I have a, I have two videos. I have uh, what an awesome gift, two weapons, and then amendment to what an awesome gift, two weapons. It's about I got two shillelaghs in the mail last week. It's very cool, and I did a little demonstration, humor so with that. And I hope you liked them. And then if anyone hasn't seen it, please see it. It's cool. Now, I'm just curious what you do on St. Patrick's Day. Can we do our basic thing now? Now, I got something from Mental Floss. It's about everything you need to know about Boxing Day. And that's uh, essentially the day after Christmas. You know? And, you know, they say it's observed every year on December 26th. And the holiday was known as St. Stephen's Day. Now, they have some stuff about Ireland in here. So, just for you and then anyone who else is curious about Ireland, like you can check it out too and let's some history. Okay, on the 26th, Ireland sometimes refers to, I mean, Ireland sometimes refers to December 26th as Wren Day. It's W-R-E-N. It's a bird. You know? A nod to an old tradition in which four children would kill a wren, then sell the feathers to neighbors for good luck. 
And today's celebration is the rent for faith. That three bad children of a little bird. But they don't do it now though. Feather is fake and uh, the rent is fake. So thankfully that's they're not killing any more birds and stuff. Well anyways, uh I'm trying to think of anything else that you talk about. Oh, I wanna give you a little update on my dad. He's doing fine. Like I guess I'm taking care of his oxygen. He's got one of those machines where uh, you put distilled water in there and then it converts it to oxygen through like bubbles and stuff like that. And you know, he has a big breathing tube that he has and uh, I've been changing it every day and then this Monday he's supposed to be going to uh he's not gonna have the actual eye surgery yet, he's going to be uh examined or measured or something like that for his eyes. And the thing that sucks is I have to go to work because I can't miss work. My sister's nice enough to take him in. Well, but he's doing all right, and then I'll let you guys know how he's doing, you know, whenever I can. And uh, I'm not going to put him on camera. I, I think that's exploitation. I don't want to do that. You know I like exploitation movies. Herschel Gore Lewis movies are awesome. I digress. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who, who's been nice to me and, uh, you know, who said nice things to me and like my videos. And anyone who's ever bothered to watch any of my videos is really cool. You know, thanks. Cause, I mean, I think I've matured some on my videos. Cause when I first started, I was really, really stupid on my videos. You know? I mean, if you see those, those are the silly too. But I think I matured a lot. You know? And I just want to say thank you very much, and thank you for the nice things you said about me and my dad making me feel better. Cause I worry a lot. And, uh, stay metal. Bye, guys. Love you all. Bye.